हे गाइस व्हाट्स अप वेलकम टू पार्ट थ्री ऑफ एफ वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ब्रेकिंग पॉइंट एंड लास्ट टाइम वी हैव द कैनेडियन ग्रांड प्री एंड दिस टाइम देयर इज अ न्यू पर्सन इन द स्टोरी हे दैट कैन यू रेज दैट लैंप अबाउट टू स्पेसिफिक अबाउट द लैंप्स पोजीशन मैन आई डोंट नो व्हाट डिफरेंस इट्स गोना मेक ओ ओके सो इज डेविन बटलर्स फादर इंटरेस्टिंग So if I'm not wrong he's one of the major investors in the Connor Sport Racing team so that's more like a stroll right kind of a relationship yeah, here he his son has a seat because his father is the major investor in the team but, even but to me, it was obvious. what happened in the Hungarian the Grand Prix was a sham yet again Connor Sport Jackson and Butler battling it out on track it seems as if they Hang on 2 seconds that Okay Devon Aiden's lapping faster than you I need you to let him pass please Of course Devin is not going to follow the team orders. He's just going to make it difficult for Aiden. Completely blanking the order there. Seems like he didn't even acknowledge it. Too true, but as you can see, no way through for Jackson. Kabhi to team ka soch le bhai kya kar raha hai? Getting heated on the track here in Hungary. Okay, so what's our primary objective? Overtake Butler before lap 14. But which lap are we starting on? Right, so we are on lap 11 and our primary objective is get Devin in the next 3 laps and there's a bonus point if we finish in the top 8. and we are p16 so that is going to be a long drive at least we got to take up eight positions and we also have to take the fastest lap i don't think devin is going to make it easy for us and as you can see i have spent like one lap chasing behind him and finally i'm very close to him we are within like 3 4 tenths of each other and i'm going to take the lunge and we are banging wheels and i push him wide and it's devin i was losing a little bit of attraction Got the job done, and I guess he deserved it for being an ass on the track. Yeah, yeah, I know. Stop annoying me on the radio. That guy's not even listening to your radio messages, and you have the audacity to tell me that's your teammate. Never mind. Uh, okay, so next we're gonna take up Sebastian Vettel, and he's not making it easy for me either. I mean, he's just closing the door here, and there's strong defense. We've got Vettel, we've got Albon, and we've got Alonso all the way because. Our objective is now to finish in the top 10. Fine. I'm going to do it. Not sure about the fastest lap. I did put up a purple sector, but it's going to be difficult with all the traffic and all the overtaking that I have to do. There's the clean air and I'm in the back of Albon, but I'm still going to make it stick on the outside with the help of DRS. We've got a long long straight. Now on to Ocon once again this guy defends like a lion Ocon and Ricardo let's see if i can get him with DRS once again we are on lap 14 now four more laps to go actually now on lap 15 and it's Daniel Ricardo late breaking the late breaker and he's not that great in the McLaren we get him now with the help of some DRS and late breaking next up now we've got Charles Leclerc we've got like three more laps now Alonso and Leclerc are battling for position. They're pushing each other wide. It's going on pretty well. Alonso is going to fight back. He's going to try to take the position, but they can't. I have to avoid hitting them. That was a good one from my side. I'm going to take Alonso on the outside and I pushed him a little bit towards the pit lane. He let go of the position and now because I have DRS, I guess I can overtake Charles Leclerc as well. We are on the lap 17 now and I think we're going to do a late lunge late breaking into the zone and yep we're all right we are in P9 so majority of the overtaking is done we just need one position now P8 come on it's Kevin Magnussen pretty aggressive on the track and I'm a little and I'm struggling a little bit with the grip now I'm on the last lap as well so can I make it through here Yes I can late breaking Magnussen fights back but no no we did it we did it now we've got Lando Norris and Bottas and we're on the last lap I don't think I'm making up any positions here but 
A lot of you guys were asking me why have I not uploaded with the face cam? Don't worry, the next episode is going to be with that. I recorded the first 3 without any face cam. I was setting up things in the background. So, all of that is sorted and you will soon see my videos with the face cam as well. How are you liking the series so far? Let me know in the comments. Devin Butler is not making it easy for us. Somehow we managed to do everything except for the fastest lap. I'm quite bummed out about that, but as you saw until the last lap we were fighting for positions. Quite tough to put the fastest lap in that case and we close to Lando Norris, but no can't do much about it. We're almost at the last turn and we're going to take the checkered flag very very soon. So P8 it's going to be for us. Eight positions in six laps, not that bad. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way. Wow, we're getting green points for racing etiquette. Something that I didn't do during this race. Really well today, and that's in spite of the problems with his own teammate. Even before they became teammates. That's the Mercedes with zero side pods. That's history now. Fascinating rivalry. You can't take your eyes off it for one moment. But nonetheless, some much needed points today for Connor Sport. Okay, so interview time. That's Natalie from Sky Sports. Uh, well, Devin's an asshole. I mean, that's the only thing I can say about him. But I guess I have to be PR friendly. So we're gonna go with a slightly suitable response. Maybe I shouldn't be so nice in the media. We're gonna be a little bit edgy from the next time. That'd be for Devon to answer. I'm just focused on what I need to do. Well, he did certainly seem to cause you some trouble out there today. And after that, and what happened in Canada, uh, what would you say to those? Let's let's say it's in the past. Butler We're focused on making well Connor's sport a success. <laughs> no, that's that's in the past, definitely. Uh, we're on the same team now. That's what matters. If there's anything that happens between me and Devon on track, it's because we're we're so focused on making Connor's sport a success. We're bound to tread on each other's toes from time to time. So issues with Devon aside, how do you feel it went out there today? Do you think the team will be pleased with your performance? Could I've pushed it harder? Probably. It was a good enough result. Yeah, so I think I've made that one difficult. I might get like stronger targets now because of that because apparently the way you respond to things in this game can change your objectives with every single race. the easiest of time so far this season has that all been sorted are those reliability concerns well and truly behind you well yeah there was there was no issues this race um so things are definitely looking up in that regard uh i'm confident the team have got it in hand and today proved it there's always room for improvement but little by little step by step appreciate it thank you Okay. I leave that in your capable hands. Devon. There's a team debrief going on. You had a problem with a team order today? Didn't happen. What? Look, I know everyone saying I ignored it, but it didn't happen. I never got the order. Check the comms. What a liar. Shoddy workman always blames I mean, his tools. I eh? mean, this guy needs to have some shame. Of course they're going to find it in the comms. Okay, we check the communication pipeline. Fix it. This cannot happen again. Typical. I mean, come on man, you can't lie so much. Hey, listen. What's the point? It's just Devon being Devon. But that's Devon's father. And what? That makes it okay. He's an arrogant No. You're right to call him out. But imagine if we didn't give him certain freedoms. He'd be even harder to manage. Is he a bad it's guy or a good guy in this game? I, know. I mean, hey. You're the best driver. He sounds like that billionaire right villain you have in the movies. To put Devon in his place. He needs it. The team needs it. Thanks. Between you and me, I don't think this team is right for me. Bro, I don't think you should be trusting think, this guy. Honestly, we don't deserve you. And I know that you've been mm -hmm. discussed at other teams. So just keep doing what you're doing. Sure. I'm sorry if I've spoken out of turn. Devon. <laughs> Not at all. You know the best way to keep Devon in his place. Oh, interesting. What's that? Beat him. 
Okay, so he's not supporting Devin. Looks like that guy from that movie, Student of the Year. I, I think I, I haven't seen that movie completely, but I know this. Yep, this guy is Ram Kapoor. He's not following. He's not supporting his own son. Okay, so what is this? Connorsport has been contacted by a film production company. They're currently in the pre-production phase, blah, 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 and want to offer cameo to one of the drivers. Mm -hmm. I guess we're going to give it to Aiden. Yeah, definitely. Challenged by the press about disregarding the team orders during the race, Devin went public with the comms issue. Okay, so you've told... Okay, so he's told everyone that he never got the order and they, and our team is now pressurized for a statement. What should we say? I guess let's just be cautious because we can't publicly badmouth Devin. His father owns the team. Gotta be a little bit uh, diplomatic. Okay, and what happened with the factory tour? Okay, not a big deal. But that was your part 3 of F123 Breaking Point. You guys let me know, do you want me to merge a couple of parts? Then the episodes would be like 20 to 30 minutes longer. Or you guys want me to do it this way where I cover one chapter every episode. That would keep the length around 10 to 12 minutes. Let me know. You can follow me on your F1 guy. I keep posting updates about Formula 1 races and all of those things there. And you can subscribe to this channel and suggest me what other F1 videos would you guys like to watch here. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with the next episode. Hopefully with face cam very, very soon. And uh, what about Devon? What about Devon? We both know it wasn't the comms, right? Andrea, listen. Devon may push his luck from time to time, but I won't have his integrity questioned. If he says it was the comms, then you know what to do. Yes? Right. <clears throat> sure. I'll have them checked again. See that you do.